Hi, I'm Steph Haynes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Arduinoise recorder to your Mac computer so that you can use it to control music creation software such as GarageBand, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, and more. This will allow you to record yourself, edit your recordings, and experiment with new sounds for your instrument. Let's jump right into it. The Arduinoise recorder uses Bluetooth to connect to tablets and computers, so be sure that Bluetooth is turned on for your computer. If your computer does not have a built-in Bluetooth receiver, or does not support Bluetooth 4.0, then consider buying a USB Bluetooth adapter like this one. Once Bluetooth is on, open Audio MIDI Setup. You can find this easily using your computer's Spotlight search function. Once Audio MIDI Setup is open, you can open the MIDI Studio by clicking the Window tab and selecting Show MIDI Studio. Once this window is open, click on the Bluetooth icon in the top center of the menu bar. Now it's time to turn on the recorder. Once your recorder is on, connect it to your computer by holding a finger on the recorder's circular button and clicking on the recorder in the device menu. If the device doesn't connect immediately, try moving your finger off the circular button for a few seconds before trying again. Now that our computer recognizes the recorder as a MIDI device, let's open up GarageBand and test it out. If your computer doesn't already have GarageBand on it, you can download it for free from the App Store. I'm going to open a new project, and when this window pops up, I'm going to select Software Instrument and hit Create. The selected instrument usually defaults to electric piano, but we can choose from a large variety of different sounds in the menu on the left. Some of my favorite sounds to use with the recorder are made by third-party software designers, which we can find by opening the Plugins drop-down menu, clicking over here next to the name, and then selecting it from our list of AU instruments. Here's one called EVINer that was designed specifically to work with digital wind instruments like this one. Let's make some music. We can start by adding a drum loop. We can find drum loops by clicking on the loop icon in the top left. Select one that you like, drag it into an empty space, and then click and drag the top right corner to make it repeat. Now that we have some drums, let's try recording something. Uh-oh, looks like I played a wrong note. Let me just fix that really quick in the piano roll. I could add as many tracks to this as I want and create a whole symphony using just my recorder and the software, but I think it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you found it to be helpful, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to hear the music that you make with the Arty Noise Recorder.